Hey there, Reverend Sully, Eric O'Sullivan, ordained on the internet. The caveat, as always, please do not burn your hands holding on to my hot takes. If you do, then that's on you, pal. Today, a little love letter to one of my favorite all-time shows, BBC's 1960s movie uh, TV show, The Prisoner. And um, what do I have to say about The Prisoner? That I have figured out the mysterious ending. Um, let's see. I would also watched a recent documentary on the prisoner. It's called In My Mind. And it was, a lot of it was shot when Patrick McGowan was still alive. Um, but it was released about two years ago or so. And I watched it after an amazing rewatch over lockdown 2020. I spent every Wednesday with Robert Meyer Burnett and uh, heel versus baby faces as as we they went through all 17 episodes in their own unique viewing order it was an amazing experience i watched this show when i was a kid i remember this being on tv i remember getting in trouble with my grandmother because i was jumping on the couch i had put the uh the couch pillows on the floor and i was jumping from um from from pillow to pillow to back on the couch and i was playing kosho because <laughs> i saw it on the prisoner and um yeah i remember the prisoner uh, it's it's style and i i remember seeing the ending as a kid too it's it's not that i've really thought of it since then but now seeing it as an adult especially during and after lockdown 2020 that we were all trapped in our own village, you know, and we were all number six in our own worlds. And I've kind of figured out the mysterious ending. And it was based upon a clue that I saw in the documentary in my mind, in my mind, in my mind, you are smart. <laughs> and it was the the legendary confrontation between number six and number two. And there was also Alexis Kanner's number four, who was involved with that as well. And we had, there was this autographed picture that Patrick McGowan had given to the, the number two actor. He played one of the many number twos, uh, Leo McKern. And Leo McKern had a one of the only recurring number twos in the entire show. This whole mystery of who is number two and who is number one. Who is number one? Well, it's actually the answer is actually the same answer as the legendary riddle of the Sphinx. Of the Sphinx. Uh, what crawl? What's a, the riddle of the Sphinx is what's on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening? And... The, the the riddle the answer is a person we crawl in our infancy on all fours then as a person as a as aging we learn to walk on two legs and then as a as an elderly person we need a cane sometimes and that's our third leg so patrick mcgowan had left this cryptic uh note on a glossy uh, eight by ten that he gave to Leo McKern, and it said this, or he wrote this: two plus four plus six equals one, and that is the magic formula, because the three major players in the finale are number two, number four, he was also I think number forty-eight, and uh, see Alexis Canner's number. Always has a variant of four in there. And then Patrick McGowan's number six. This is the riddle of the Sphinx. It is um, Patrick McGowan dealing with his life as a spy. That he is simultaneously the younger version, the younger angry spy, as we see in Alexis Kanner's number four. And he is also the older administrator in Leo McKern in number two. He, this is the riddle of the Sphinx. So much so that when 
in the famous scene at the end when when number six unmasks number one he's looking at his own face and it's very brief and if you blink you'll miss it but i feel that the answer is there especially in the denouement at the end of the finale you have you have um number six number two and number four goes his own way and he goes in the opposite direction that the uh, the other two spies are going and that's you know to, it's very significant that he's a young man he needs to do his own thing and i just i it's a great show it's free on amazon prime if you're a subscri uh, subscriber and i'm gonna watch it again um i've, I've got the non-traditional viewing order i got that from my buddy clobber in times mike alonzo god bless you mike thank you so much clobby and um and yeah i'm it's due for another rewatch i'm gonna rewatch this once a year it's one of the the big shows that i will continue to watch once a year such as sopranos mad men it reminds me i gotta i gotta spend that money and get buffy the vampire slayer because that's worth the money and um but what do you think have you watched The Prisoner? Do you know who number one is? Do you Have you figured out who number six really is? Well, if you have, or if you have an opinion, leave it in the comments section. If you like this kind of material, well, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like what I have to say here, give me a thumbs down. I'm a big lad. I can handle it. And uh, give me a subscribe if you so feel like it. I could definitely uh, use it. And you could definitely use some good material to watch on YouTube. Some positivity and some kitchen hook cooking hacks. Restaurant quality stuff. I'm a professional chef. I got some, some, some great hacks I want to share with you. And I'm an ordained minister. I love talking theology and spirituality. So come aboard and uh, give, me some, uh, give me a view. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. But you know what? I am not a number. I am a free man. This is so true. <laughs> Aren't we all? And uh, God bless you. Namaste. Thank you so much for tuning in. And go watch The Prisoner. It's an amazing show. It's uh, the, uh, the the sets, the, uh, the, the costumes, the music, and the joke at the end of it with the music that it opens with. You hear Le Masaye, and it's so familiar, this specific brass version, because it goes right into uh, All You Need Is Love by the Beatles. The first time that they use modern music in that show, and they use the Beatles. And it's it's that was a contemporary hit at the time of its production. I just It blew my mind, and it's going to continue to blow my mind now that I see how the pieces fit. And... Um, well, thank you so much for uh, for tuning in. You have a great day, okay? Cheers.